editors can change the position of any keyframe added to their media. To do this, tap, hold and drag the keyframe you want to move, left or right. Dragging to the left will move the keyframe to an earlier position in the clip and dragging to the right will move the keyframe to a later position in the clip. Where you are within a piece of media is noted by this blue timecode which gives you the clear way to see the amount of seconds and frames you are into a clip. When viewed in conjunction with the timecode on the right, which details the entire length of your selected clip on the timeline, you can start to place your keyframes very specifically if you wish to do so. For example, halfway through a clip or a third of the way in. For minute movements to the placement of your keyframes, use the nudge icons that appear when a keyframe is held. Tapping on the single arrows will move your selected keyframe by one frame at a time along your clip in the specified direction. The double arrowed icons will move your keyframe 10 frames at a time to the left or right. As usual, tapping on the single keyframe icon will delete a selected keyframe and tapping on the pile will delete them all and turn keyframing off. Remember that you can add keyframes to a variety of clip attributes in each LumaFusion clip editor, enabling you to create an endless amount of visual and audio effects. If you'd like to try one of the new motion or speed presets in LumaFusion, these are available in the top right of the clip editors. Note that these will overwrite any keyframes you already had on a clip, but are available for you to tweak by tapping, holding and dragging the position of your keyframes to enable you to create the perfect look for your video. Mm -hmm.